Reuters. The top executive of Whole Foods is under fire from the U.S. Federal Trade Commission. Why? For posting online comments under an alias touting Whole Foods and criticizing rival and takeover target Wild Oats Markets. From 1999 through 2006, CEO John Maggie went by the name Rehodeb in a Yahoo Finance forum. One of his posts in March of 06 about Wild Oats read, quote, bankruptcy remains a distinct possibility, IMO, if the business isn't sold within the next few years. So will the online scandal tread on Whole Foods' image? David Rogers from the Center on Global Brand Leadership at Columbia Business School. Well, I think you have to take it in context. You know, what are the comments, who's the CEO, and how do those comments reflect on the company? Uh, in this case, I don't really think there's a problem. I mean, John Mackey, the CEO, uh, it's kind of in fitting with his personality. The posts are being taken seriously by the FTC amid a lawsuit claiming Whole Foods' planned acquisition of Wild Oats would eliminate competition. One of the posts supporting their argument read, quote, The writing is on the wall. The end game is now underway. Whole Foods is systematically destroying their viability as a business, market by market, city by city. It remains to be seen whether the postings will be effective in a court of law or simply the court of public opinion. Well, I didn't know if the FTC spends much time going online or understands about chat rooms and blogs. I mean, certainly if I was on a Yahoo uh, financial forum and I saw people with, you know, everyone's under a pseudonym making comments about this company and that company being better or worse or destined for great things, I wouldn't put any more stock in it than I would necessarily on an Amazon book review, which, you know, half of them are posted by the authors themselves. Meanwhile, Whole Foods released a statement saying the Rehodeb postings are the personal postings of Mackey and not those of the company. Reporting for Reuters, I'm Diane King in New York.